Nikka produced the first Somilux 35mm f1.4 lens in 1960. As I said in my previous video, every first generation of Leica was fantastic. And there is no doubt that the first generation of Sumilax 35mm f1.4 lens is also a masterpiece. This second version of Sumilax 35mm f1.4 lens was released in 1967. Um, this is the black version. The optical design of this lens maintained 40 years until the 1997. Even now, it is still the smallest 1.4 lens of all any focal lens. This tiny lens is small enough so there is no uh, finder blockage. If you take off the lens hood, you look through the finder, you cannot find the lens. Also, it considered uh, is not as sharp as the 35mm Smicron lens, but the amazing brilliance brings to the works has attracted many Leica fans, including me. In the last video, I talked about the Leica M6 body. In this video, uh, let's talk about the lens. I always put on the Leica M6 and uh, I use it for the most of the time, take a lot of shot. The Leica 35mm f1.4 Pre-A, Leica Glow Lens. First, I'll talk about the name. Why he is called, be called the Pre-A? Uh, since the, after the Leica introduced the uh, 35mm AS, ASPH lens, the spherical lens, so this tiny lens being called Pre-A. As we all know, the, the most sharpest lens is Smicron series uh, in the Leica lenses. The Smicron lens, the biggest aperture is F2, but this is F1.4 lens, the Sumilex. This earlier 1.4 lens, when you wide open shot, it will produce a dream look, a high low uh, from the wide part uh, if you're using the wide open aperture. But this dream look high low will missing when you stop down, when, when stop down in F2, they were missing. This beautiful dreamlike often brings a unique atmosphere uh, into the image and is very lovely when shooting ghost portrait because it makes uh, the skin look pure, shiny and uh, soft. So the Leica user call it Leica Glow, but I prefer the Chinese call it name. Uh, in translator, it, that means Leica Holy Light. Uh, that's an interesting name. It has so some dark corner at f1.4 and f2. I really don't care the dark corner because I think the human eye also with dark corner. This is also an amazing lens uh, because the every aperture, uh, the performance is a little bit different. Sometimes bring unexpected effect on the film image. This is the feature there is no other lens has. When the aperture is stopped up, the rich level performance is very close to the Leica A-Element lens. 
and it is very sharp. The bright white part performs very well. Uh, like her girl's name is not just means the kind of the dreamlike high low when the aperture is wide open. Also, it means the amazing performance of this lens for bright color at any aperture. I also love bokeh it here. They look like uh, not like Zeiss lens, uh, milk milk like. Uh, the Leica bokeh a little bit like a painter's brush, I think. So this lens, someone likes, someone love it, someone hate it. Uh, someone, if you trust the MTF covers, will doesn't like it. So that the, this lens's price is not too crazy, I think. I bought I bought this lens a few years ago, about uh, twenty four hundred dollars. Uh, that's the price, as same as the in nineteen ninety two on B and H, the new stock price is the same. And uh, for this lens, the normal filters cannot be used. And uh, only special mode Series 7 filters can be used. Only can be installed in the lens hold. That means you only can use the Leica original filters and the lens hold on it. Maybe a little bit difficult to find them. The aperture ring of the lens has two tabs so that you can be adjusted by the fingers because the size of the lens is too small. The closest focus distance is one meter, which is the only weakness I feel after using it for a long time. I always use the Leica M6 with this lens and push the black and the white film to ISO 1600 or 3200 to shut the city at night. Uh, with its 1.4 f1.4, the atmosphere under the street lights at night being performed is wonderful. With Leica M6, with such one camera, one lens, it will not make people think that you are a photographer who for photography to hear. But the M6 with the tiny 35mm lens in your hand are all on the toes that can capture the moment and present the wonderful on your film, regardless of day and night. They have a wide range of scenes, response capabilities. You don't need more camera or lenses. One camera and one lens are enough. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you.